Am I the asshole? For saying I don't want to die when a girl said she could spot me? Earlier today, I was benching in my school's gym. I usually don't go on Tuesdays but I'm trying to throw in some more work throughout the week. There wasn't really anybody I know for real when I was up there so when I needed a spot I just called out to no one in particular asking for a spot. The first person to say something is this girl who I knew would be no help. Not a beat after she finishes saying that she can spot me I say I'm not trying to die today. She had this offended look on her face and I was like can you deadlift 315? She ain't say nothing and I said that's what I thought. I get somebody else to spot me and go on and finish my workout. When I'm walking about trying to get to my car to go home she comes up to me and starts jawing about how I was sexist and all that. That I was disrespectful just because she was a girl and I should apologize for being misogynistic. That's not true at all, I just knew she wouldn't be able to do anything if I were to fail the rep. When I'm doing a hard workout I do tend to be short with people so maybe I could have been a little more polite but I don't think I did anything wrong. Am I the asshole? You're the asshole. I don't get what deadlifting 315 has to do with spotting someone's bench. Were you benching 315? I doubt it. Anyway, a bench spotter is meant to assist you on the rebound if you fail your rep, not take the bar away from you entirely. I've been spotted by people weaker than me, and vice versa, many times. I get somebody else to spot me. Could they deadlift 315 pounds? Did you ask them? If not, you're the asshole. You're the asshole, she doesn't need to lift the total weight, and no one here believes you were benching 300, she just needs to be able to lift 2040 which I'm sure she's capable of. You just made yourself look like a fool. From a female who can deadlift over 315, you're the asshole. As others have mentioned deadlifting the weight being benched isn't a prerequisite for being an effective spotter. Do you ask everyone if they can deadlift 315 before you let them spot you? Or just women? You're the asshole, I bench press significantly more than you and I've let girls spot me before. On a normal set if you know your limits the spotter should never have to apply more than 10-20 pounds of force to the bar. Even if you were going for a max attempt where you might experience total failure there are nicer ways to say it. You're the asshole. You were rude and seem to misunderstand what someone is doing when they spot you. I'd recommend a fitness 101 course so you can brush up on the basics. You also sound like an entitled asshole for how you act. You're the asshole. One she doesn't need to be able to deadlift 315 pounds, just enough to get it off of you. Two you asked if anyone could spot and she chimed in then you insulted her with a blatantly sexist comment. You're the asshole. As a woman who lifts, you are the type no one likes in the community. Good lord, if you need a spotter who can deadlift the whole weight, you're doing it wrong. But the way you interacted with her was totally uncalled for condescending and, yes, can easily be interpreted as having undertones of misogyny. You're the asshole. Work on how to talk with people properly. Jesus Christ everything about this post makes you sound like a massive asshole, with or without the context of being spotted. You're the asshole, probably in most aspects of your life. You're the asshole. If you needed your spotter to be able to lift that much weight, you're lifting too much anyways. And you were unnecessarily rude to someone when you called for a spotter in the gym. Want someone in specific to help? Ask them specifically. Lol do just from the tone of your post I can absolutely tell you're the asshole. You're the asshole you do know that you can reject her offer and be respectful right? Tell me you didn't make JV football next year without telling me you didn't make JV football next year. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. Also you're a bad and inexperienced lifter if you think a spotter has to lift an entire bar off you in order to be a good spotter. They're there to help you get out from under the bar, not to completely lift it off you. To completely lift a bar off you, they'd have to be straddling your head shoulders.
please get a trainer and relearn your bad lifting habits, but as for the poor speech choices, I can't help you. Were you planning on going to failure? Spots normally don't have to take on the entire weight even when struggling. You're the asshole. Manners cost you nothing. You're the asshole you were being condescending when she was trying to do you a favor. I spot my partner benching 200 pounds and I definitely can't deadlift that much weight. It's never been a problem, when he fails, I don't have to help that much because he's still lifting the majority of it. You're the asshole. I'm not trying to die today and that's what I thought. Were really rude and unnecessary. I understand where you're coming from because you indeed don't want to die from a workout accident but she was just trying to be nice and help out. 1. You never explained why you knew she would be no help. If you knew for a fact that it was more weight than she could handle, you should have disclosed that. It sounds like you just dismissed her because she's a girl. You're the asshole. 2. She comes up to me and starts jawing about how I was sexist and all that. You're the asshole. You lost any benefit of the doubt from me with this statement. You're the asshole. That was totally not needed at all. She was literally offering to help you out, and that's how you reply, yikes, you need to work on your manners. It would have been far easier for the both of you had you just asked her whether or not she could deadlift 315 from the beginning. The fact that you're also trying to defend this behavior of yours is also not okay at all. You shouldn't been talking to someone in that manner, especially if that someone is offering to help you out. The only way she would need to deadlift that much is if you were pushing over 500-600 pounds into failure reps. You're the asshole for being a sexist, a choosing beggar, and also feeling like you should brag about your mediocre max lifts. You're the asshole but not for saying no to her offer, it's the fact that you were rude to her in your response. She was trying to help you and you were a dick. You're the asshole. In what world does a spotter need to lift the entire weight? She was jawing at you? No cap, brah. You finna be lonely forever. Or whatever the hell kids say these days. If you're benching, you don't need someone who can deadlift 315, you need someone who can upright row 315. Oh, no one can do that? Hum I guess your logic fails then. You're the asshole. That's not how you talk to people who offer to help you. Obviously you could have responded in a kind manner. You're the asshole. If you didn't want this person to spot you for whatever reason all you had to say was no thank you. But nope you had to toss a big old heap of shit on top of it. And you have no clue if she could have spotted you. None. You know what you believe that you know which is that she is girl so clearly couldn't spot the big burly dude like you. Am I right? You're the asshole you were rude. Simple as that. You called out to a room full of strangers to ask for help and when the first person who stepped up didn't meet your macho vision you acted like an ass. I'm planning to deadlift 315 here, do you feel comfortable spotting me for that would have been sufficient. You're the asshole. 